I should not have reloaded right there. Now he's gonna take a chunk out of me. Ooh, that guy almost got me from behind. Oh! Whoa! Huh. <sighs> Get your naked ass off my screen. <laughs> Fucking naked ass. Look at damn. <laughs> Like, dude, you don't you don't walk around like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, not not in this place. Okay, there's proof that uh, I had to replay this because I did examine this once before. The stem I found in the refrigerator. This is a um. This is a place that you can store stuff if you wish. I normally don't store anything in here. Uh, that's just me. Oh, I don't want these stems. They take up inventory space. I actually didn't really have to pick it up, but... Okay, before we move on, I'm actually going to grab some ammo, because it's uh, really important that you fill up. Uh, also, we're about to go into a fight which requires a lot of firepower, and if you're just beginning, I would suggest that you take the m one that you bought, if you bought, uh, and bring it with you because uh, there's a fight coming up that's rather important, and uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you can easily get your ass handed to you. Of course, there's a save point right beforehand, so you don't have to worry about it too awful much. You just keep trying. Uh, put the fill up on ammo. Let's drop a few things off while we're here. I think I'll use one recovery one. I don't need these R slugs. You can have them. There's a flare. That flare won't come in useful until later. Can I use this? Yes. Alright, cool. We are kosher. Another thing you can do is you can take a full pack of ammo and you can uh, drop, uh, drop it off in the cabinet that we just visited. But the thing is, you you can only drop off as uh, as much as to not uh, drop off any of the ammo that's inside of your gun. So you'll have to run back, refill, then go back and put 50 more in if you want to put a full amount inside. But uh, you can always come back here and refill, like use that as a temporary refill station because you can only put 500 in there. Here's a telephone. A survivor? Good, I see. Exterminate any remaining NMCs and try to find out what they're doing there. I'm going to save right here in case I have any more corruption issues. That was a backup from earlier because I actually, this is my second time doing this part too. I can see the water from here. Or water tower, my bad. Hew, 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 <laughs> Don't know why I did that. <laughs> There's someone up there. Okay, here's what happens. Oh, there's a ladder here. There's a ladder going down. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to bang that. I did not mean to bang that. Now, if you want to initiate the fight, you would go straight, but I'm going to go over here real, real right fast, because there is an enemy over here I want to get rid of quickly. There's nothing else you can accomplish here, at least not yet, but this is a really small corridor. You want to fire off a shot, and you want to uh, just pacify that guy as quickly as you can. Use your powers if you have to, because uh, you do not have much room down this corridor to uh, run away from him. Okay, now just move forward. And you initiate the fight. You're trying to dig in there and try to figure out a way to get up into the water tower to get that dude we saw earlier. Now, let's wait a little bit so I don't interrupt that other guy because he'll keep digging until I get rid of this guy. Alright, let's reload. 
fuck? Oh, he ain't dead yet. There he goes. Yeah, that's why it's important to have uh, ammo in your... I about said in your pants. <laughs> have ammo attached to your armor is what I meant. Alright, notice we killed everything, but we're still in battle mode, which means it's not over yet. We come over here, raise the lever. Oh, hello. You can see me behind the fence. Kinda. Alright, now. We go on this way. We go all the way around. Try to be as quick as possible. There's an enemy right there. So be wary. Ah, crap, he got me. You bastard. Oh, that guy missed. That gate's on a timer, so you want to be as quick as possible to get in. And once you're in, you're locked in with these guys. Remember when I said you don't fight any more than two at a time? Try to use the strategy of running and gunning. Oh god, he knocked me over. You bastard. Be wary of the center pipe, because it will block your shots, but it'll also be a nice place for these guys to run into. Run, 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 run. I think that's the last guy. Nice. You really gotta watch out, especially when the both of them charge at you at once. Recovery 2. My apologies. I would have helped, but I was afraid I might hit you. My name's Madigan. Kyle Madigan. And you are? I am Bree. FBI. Well, well. Is that a problem? That boomer like creature just now? It had a human face. Was that one of those NMCs? Yes, an unusual breed, but... So you must be one of those mist hunters, right? You've done your homework. May I ask who you might be? Me? I'm a PI out of LA. I'm here to check out a shelter supposed to be in these parts. I ran into some of those monsters on my way out here. They totaled my car. And I walked the rest of the way to town. A private investigator? In that outfit? <laughs> you never know these days. Really? So what's supposed to be in this shelter? That cl that's client confidential, I'd lose my license. Not that I know anything, I just got here. Since we're on the s we seem to be looking for the same thing, how about we join forces? I'm game. Let me know if you find anything out. Oh, that was him talking. Shit. <laughs> By the way, that text was auto-scrolling. I had no control over that. So I had to read a little bit fast at that one part, and I probably didn't even read it accurately. I can see the whole town from here. You can see Aya Sedan. Just from the corner of that sign there. The little yellow dot right there. Oh, look! A truck. That means Gary Douglas is back from his rounds. There's a school bus over there, I just noticed. That red truck. Mr. Douglas must be back. You want to examine this right here, pull the lever and it opens the fence, but uh, it's not on a timer anymore, so you no longer have to worry about it. And also come up here and examine this corpse. He was in his 40s or so. Mr. Douglas must have never came up here. A key taken from corpse and the drugs he probably OD'd on. Assuming that he had the key, he must have been an employee here, or maybe even the manager. <laughs> it could be Gene or Roy, which would stink. What would I... Oh, yeah. Key taken from corpse. It's an aluminum key with the engraving G and R. Oh. 
I didn't read the Mendel. But yeah, that's a thing. Oh, come on. Blah, blah, blah. I don't even think it, it, it's really necessary that I read that, but as long as I have it, it gives me an, uh, a bonus uh, calculation at the very end of the game. My god. <laughs> Ron, if you go outside the fence, you'll be able to uh, circumvent these guys. Die, Scorpion. Die. Oh. Uh, in this game, you want to try to not run away unless you absolutely cannot win the fight. Uh, the reason why is because when you escape, you lose BP. And if you escape way too much, you're not going to have enough BP to get some of the really nice in-game items uh, that are that become available towards uh, the end of the game. Open the door with the saloon key, which we found off the corpse. Now in here are some brain sucklers. You shoot these things out of the air, and they pose less of a threat. Just don't walk up onto them, or they will do damage by, like, pecking your feet. But they are a headache if they're in the air, so try to take them down as quick as possible. Employee locker or something inside. A giant refrigerator or something on the door, this might be useful. This is the key item that you need to go through that factory where I uh, killed that one desert chaser in that long corridor. It's a bottle cap magnet pro promotional item in the shape of a Coca-Cola bottle cap. There's a magnet on the back. Let's check out the rest of Gene and Roy's while we're here. Oh god. More brain sucklers. Oh, come on. Targeting. Target. Shit, reload. Ah! Yeah, I probably should not have aimed at them off screen because I didn't know what I was aiming at. But considering that Aya was, you know, pointing her gun upwards, I figured that's who she was shooting at. So, we're good. Also, uh, you want to take a trip to the bathroom and examine this poster. This is a map of the dry field in the surrounding area. I'll enter it in my GPS, press select to view the map. See? That's what's going. This right here is the sewer, where that uh, manhole we saw, or the well we saw earlier. And then there's the balcony and the rooms we have not been in yet. I think over here is the inhandler. Yep, in hander. I wish I had time to play a few balls. Yeah, you would like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Refrigerator. There's something inside a can. She don't even know what this is. You serious? Can. It's a can cola. Restores HP and MP. It gives a small boost, a uh, boost to HP and a significant boost to your MP. If you're into that sort of thing, it's nice to have. And its effect is constant, regardless of whether you use it in or out of a battle. Hey, I'm over here now, prick. Do something about it. Aww. Reload! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. There. Blah. Run, 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 run. Giga gaggle, giga gaggle, giga gaggle. La! Why are there so many of you? I'm gonna try to lose some of them by getting away from them. Oh god. Oh, we're good. As long as we don't move. Now, if you kill one of these guys, like, directly under you, and their ooze, like, spreads out directly under you, as long as you don't move, you're not gonna take damage. And it will disappear over time. But, uh, you can turn around, but if you take one single step, uh, even if it's just a pixel, you will take a damage. So, just wait for it to wear off, and then you'll be free to go. There's nothing there. I think there's a few things up here. Go up the... get... there we go. 
think there are scorpions up here. Yep. Hello. Hello, parking meter. Reload. I think I might fling a few fireballs down here. Bleep. Oh, I missed. Bleep. Bleep. It's probably good to just aim at the creature that you're trying to shoot with your fireball. So at least you're aiming in a general direction. At least your GPS will also help you uh, figure out where you're aiming. While we're talking about Parasite Energy, let's go ahead and revive one. Uh, pyrokinesis is your fireball that you shoot straight ahead, and each level uh, increases its area of effect. Uh, and also level 3 will shoot 3 pyrokinesis balls, which is nice. Combustion immolates a circular um, area in front of you, which uh, gets bigger as uh, the, you increase its level. Necrosis is like pyrokinesis, but it's an electric based attack and it also uh, puts a poison effect on your enemies. Plasma is a knockdown kind of um, thing that, uh, you know, does a shockwave around your body. And metabolism, it guards you from like status effects, makes you immune, and it's longer for, uh, uh, it's longer for, uh, longer. <laughs> it's longer for longer, god bless. You get a longer duration for, uh, the higher its level, so. Healing, it's pretty obvious. You heal more, uh, based on its higher, uh, level. It'll also, uh, take less time to cast a spell, uh, to with its uh, increase in its level antibody um, it reduces damage taken and its duration increases with level uh, energy shot increases your damage done by uh, firearms uh, its dur uh, duration is increased by uh, its level let me actually revive what I was looking for so let's five, revive healing and let's use it See how it takes so long, and it's it's healing is just garbage, and it eats up so much MP for what it heals, so it's really hardly worth it. You can also get plasma if you want, which is good against desert chasers. I think I might actually use it or bring it up. Also, there is an exploit uh, with reviving parasite energy, as you may or may not have noticed. Um, when I revived healing, it uh, gave me one maximum MP and it also fully restored my MP. And then I used almost all my MP to heal myself, and then I revived another Parasite Energy and gave myself not only another point in uh, maximum MP, but also fully restored it. So, keep that in mind, you're, you're pretty much got a portable source of uh, mitochondria points. Oh god! You're actually fighting too. He just knocked himself over. Shit. Oh, lordy lord. How did I not die? Or get smacked by that. God, 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 God. Oh, he's gonna charge. Lol. Oh, God. <laughs> How did I not get hit? <laughs> that was awesome. Good dodging is good. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of item management, and then I'm going to save and going to check on the video and make sure it does not corrupt, because if it corrupts, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be one pissed off me to feed. I don't want that. Also, you can keep the hydras. You can keep the recovery, too. I don't really need it. Uh, you can keep the MP boost one, and also one recovery one. There we go. No, not Parasol Energy. Also, it's worth mentioning that uh, the experience you get is uh, is required to revive the CXP cost. You gain XP for uh, fighting. But, uh, oh, it's 
probably worth mentioning this too, that uh, even if you encounter every single enemy and defeat them, uh, you're never going to have enough uh, experience points in one playthrough in order to revive and strengthen all of your parasite energies. Because um, even though they don't appear now, there's actually a third fire spell, a third water spell, a third wind, and third earth. But they don't appear until I get uh, level 3 of both uh, pyrokinesis and combustion to get inferno for fire, metabolism and healing to get uh, life drain, wind, uh, both of the wind uh, spells to get uh, apobiosis and... Uh, both of Earth to get energy ball. Excuse me. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna call this a video. Kyle, a private investigator from LA, you say? Could be an alias. I'll have someone run a search. More importantly, I'm interested in that shelter. Continue with NMC removal and find out anything you can about that shelter. So I overwrite this. And that is it. My name is Maxis Wildborn, and if I'm editing this and there's still some time, you might see me in a few more seconds, but if not, my name is Maxis Wildborn. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Later.